when you sit down to meditate, you draw a circle around yourself. But you're going to keep your attention inside the circle. As for outside the circle, you can just let it go. This way you protect the mind. Give the mind some time to look after itself and be its own self. The Buddha describes the practice as defending a fortress on a frontier. You've got to think of the qualities that they need to defend the fortress. As he says, they need an encircling road and a moat to make it hard for the enemy to come in. That's having a sense of shame and a sense of compunction. This makes you stop to think what well, exactly what you have to protect yourself from. Outside, you have to protect yourself from influences that would make you behave in unskillful ways. Those are the outside dangers. The real dangers are inside. But there are outside dangers in the sense that they would connect up with your inside dangers. So you want to make sure that there's a sense of shame and a sense of compunction, that any misbehavior by other people doesn't come in and cause you to misbehave. It's all too easy to say, well, they said this, and they said that, and then they did this, and then they did that, to justify your misbehavior. But if something needs to be justified, you have to ask yourself, well, wait a minute, there must be something wrong. And just because other people misbehave doesn't mean that your karma is not going to be your karma. So you can't let their bad karma become an influence on you. The things they can do to you are not nearly as bad as the things that they can get you to do. So have a sense of shame, a sense of compunction. That's the first line of defense. The Buddha, when he was teaching Rahula, gave this as one of his first lessons. He talked about an elephant that goes into battle, and it fights with its forefeet, and fights with its back feet, and fights with everything except its trunk. It holds its trunk back. And the elephant trainer looks at that and says, oh, the elephant hasn't given its life to the king. But if the elephant fights with everything, including the trunk, then the trainer knows, okay, now he's given his life to the king. Now, usually in a military context, that would be a good image, giving your life to the king. But the Buddha is actually saying, when you, there are certain things you simply will not do, no matter how powerful people are outside, or how much time they try to influence you, or how much they try to say that you have to do what they have to, want you to do. If you have your own sense of shame and your own sense of compunction that there are certain things you simply will not do, that's your protection. And that's good. So think of that. This is your protection. Look at where the real dangers are. The dangers are in the mind. As for dangers outside, as I said, it's not the things that people do to you that are going to be dangerous. It's the things that they can get you to do, the unskillful things they can get you to do. So your first line of defense is realizing a certain types of behavior are simply beneath you. You don't care how you look in the eyes of the world, you prefer to look good in the eyes of the wise. Wise people look at your behavior, and if they can see nothing wrong with it, then it doesn't matter what the world has to say. The same with compunction. It's a sense of seeing that if you do something, there are going to be bad consequences. And you don't do it simply because you want to do it or you feel like doing it. You realize, okay, this is something I cannot do because the consequences are going to be bad. And that's how you protect yourself. That's how you maintain your safety in this very rough-and-tumble world.